Fourth of July, people enjoy it. Hey, welcome back to the Garden Rebel channel. And I'm down here at the little garden spot next to the garage. And today we're going to be talking about a squash vine borer. These are moths that actually kind of look like a wasp, as you see in this picture right here. Now these moths come in early springtime and they lay their eggs in your squash plants. Now as you can tell, this was a pretty good sized squash plant. And it was full of blooms and all of that. And we're mid growing season. These things should not be looking like this. However, I didn't catch it in time and with the rain it's really hard to do. If you'll pull your squash plants up when they look like this and you start digging around in there, you're actually going to see worm holes and what we call dust, sawdust, some people call it, right here. Found one. Now these little guys are going to live in your garden. The thing about this is these guys are going to be inside our dirt to hatch next year. And they will decimate a squash crop. Squash, zucchini, uh, I've actually seen a couple of them in like cucumbers or something, but they really don't do a lot of damage on them. It's mainly your squash plants. Now there's a variety I can't remember right offhand that they're really not fond of, but yellow neck, crook neck, uh, black beauty, zucchini, these things love them and they will kill a plant. And once these guys get in there, it's over with, it's done. There's nothing you can do. There are some insecticides that you can shoot up in there, but they're so far up in the plant, it's really hard to get to them. You have to be very uh, cautious about where you plant certain things until your dirt up through the winter time that uh, these guys hatch from it's very important and when you bring dirt in from another area you really don't know what you're getting this dirt was brought in from a construction site and I wound up with them um, again they're going to be all up in here and hatching out <laughs> the door just opened up there's another one and I found a couple of this the other day. All right. All the way up the stalk of the plant. Big, nice, juicy ones. There you go. That's your squash for. Now this looks like a little healthy squash plant. It's got some bugs on it because of the rain. We just can't keep any kind of pesticides, natural, organic, or commercial on it. It just washes it off. Come in here to your plant and look. See all the holes tore up in it? If I was to break this plant down right now, I would find at least four or five of those guys in there. And there's nothing. As a matter of fact, I just tore off one branch. Let's go over here and take it and check it out. <coughs> All right, let's check this guy out right here. See what we got. Now, turning your soil in the wintertime will help expose them. I've heard black pepper early in the springtime around the plant may deter them from coming in. Uh, other things of that nature. I don't put a lot of faith into it, especially during the rainy season. And this is just one segment we tore off of the squash plant over there. And as you can tell... There they are. And 
and this is what the inside of your squash plant is going to look like after they're done perfectly healthy producing plant and that right there is your arch enemy the squash plants here days are numbered and there's one right back there I bet you five dollars if I go over there and I pull it up right now directly from the soil yep let's just pull it up get it out of here I'll have to come in this winter time this fall and till up all this ground around it let's take it over here at the table and see what's in there now I won't even take the dirt off of it ooh <laughs> alright let's start up here at the top this is the top of the plant see what we got there you go one And once they get in here, your plant has no way to receive any kind of nutrients because they're basically eating the plant from the inside out. This is the sawdust that we were talking about. See how it looks like sawdust out of a skill saw? Go up in here. Got a funny feeling we're going to find a joker. Oh yeah, there he is. Good fish bait. Fixing to rain again too. There's two. All right, I want to show you the difference here. This is what the inside of your squash plant is supposed to look like. Nice and green. This is your squash plant on vine borers. Don't do vine borers. All right, let's get to the main clump. Joker's a little fast too. They're speedy little boogers. Break that down. Nothing. Nothing. They're not going to be in the stem of the leaves. Their main purpose is to get right in that main stalk. There's a small one right there. They haven't got up to this part of the plant right very far in it. It looks good. Well, there's one right there, just starting. Chicken food. Let's tear the main part. Yep, so once you start seeing these little holes in the bottom of your squash plants, they're pretty much, their days are numbered. There's one. Another one. About an inch and a half up out of the dirt is where they started. That's it. That is what's getting hold of our squash plants now. What is a preventive measure that you can take to prevent this from next year? All right, first off, what we're going to do is remember where our plants were at first planted. And right here is where a plant was planted, a squash plant that was infected. With the, and I say infected because it, to me, it's a disease. I mean, they lay their eggs and you're stuck with it. I'm going to till this up. I'm going to get everything I can, all the root system, everything out of here. Grass, roots, everything. Pull it out. And you're going to do this 
two or three times through the season. You're going to come out here and just turn it up. Just keep turning. Get whatever's underneath that dirt layer to the surface at least for a couple of days through the fall, through the winter time. When you get a chance, just walk out in the garden where you have these things planted and simply till the ground up. And I'll go ahead and do maybe a 18 inch to 24 inch radius around where that plant was. Again, I'm going to pull all root matter I can. That's what I plant out. Also spray this area right here with some insecticide. If that's what you choose to do. I have put salt out. But I've never had this problem before until we brought in this dirt. That'll do that for right now. This is the end result. This is what you do not want your inside of your squash plants to look like mid-season. So keep an eye on them. And if you start seeing your plants like this, pull them up. Do not let them stay in the garden spot. Get rid of them. Burn them. Throw them in a chicken coop. Whatever you've got to do. But the longer these boars are in there and maturing, the more risk you're taking for next year because they are all up in the plant. As we speak, they're working. So those will be disposed of this evening. And from now on, once a week, I'll come out and I'll turn that spot up and turn it up. I may add a little bit of salt to that area, a little bit of lime, and maybe some pesticides just to get rid of them. Because I can't afford to do that every year. And if you don't deal with it, you're going to get it every single growing season. It's just part of gardening. It's pest. And a lot of people say, well, plant more and make a... That only makes a larger breeding ground for these insects. You cannot deal with something like this naturally. It's impossible. You've got to deal with it right at the beginning. Uh, I have not seen an organic pest killer deal with these guys. These guys are squash killers. You know, it just starts drooping and looking like it's starving for water or has too much heat and it's these guys all along so remember when you pull those plants up you check inside that stalk it just takes a simple second to do it if you see bore holes or what we call the sawdust out on the side of it go ahead and cut it take your loss you'll miss two or three pickings of squash but it's worth being able to get those insects out of your garden hopefully this helps for you and me next season maybe i've learned something from this about trusting dirt that's brought in to fill a bed up uh, it won't happen no more. <laughs> I'll, I'll get my own dirt from my own place and fill up my gardening spots. So, until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. And like before, I'm fixing to go back in here and jam out to some more Madison Rising. Uh, look them up on YouTube. Great band, Patriot band. Really loves to hear their music. Uh, great guys. So, until next time, I'm Todd, the Gardener Rebel, and I'm out of here.